uh, now we are gonna configure 40 manager so this is our lab topology and this is 40 manager so 40 manager management IP is 192 168 100 uh, while this side port 2 we are gonna assign 10.0.1.253 and the default route will be 10.0.1.254 uh, this HQ firewall uh, inside port number which is the default gateway uh, for HQ PC1 and also for HQ PC2 so this is our target to configure first time 40 manager okay so these are the detail internal port as port 2 okay this one and then management port as port 1 and management IP is 100.210 by the way in our lab we were gonna assign 114.210 internal IP is 10.0.1.253 gateway will be 10.0.1.254 okay and we are gonna set the host name FMG 40 manager okay and the version which we are using is 7.2.0 and the management PC we are gonna use the cloud so basically this is a cloud and professional edition so let's start to configure the host name first okay so let's go to our topology and like other firewall let's click on this one to take a console and enter our default username is admin and there is no password enter and set a new password 123 and 123 to uh, confirm so let me show you show system interface the default IP is 192.168.1.99 in our case we gonna assign 114 so this is wrong uh, we want to uh, change the IP we will discuss this detail in the next slide okay uh, here I will tell you that the default IP is 192.168.1.99 okay and the username is admin and there is no password so we saw this one okay there is no password and the default IP is 192.168.1.99 okay so let me clear the screen and let's go to config system global okay first and let me set set a host name so FMG this is what we decide to change and end so the host name is change from this one to FMG okay next config system interface and which interface so if I type show so we have uh, many interfaces you can just type edit port 1 edit port 2 edit port 3 whatever you need so just type the show command it will help you so I just need only port 1 and port 2 to configure so I can copy from here I want to edit port 1 and paste so now I am in port 1 if I type show so it will show me only the configuration related to a uh, port 1 so it's IP is this one let me change the IP show IP and the IP address which we decide is this one so let me copy 192.168.114 and subnet mask is 24 okay you can type the subnet mask this way and also uh, and slash notation uh, rest of the thing is okay uh, we need HTTPS and SSH and that's it uh, so from this side it's done uh, even if you want to configure more thing so you can type get so it will tell you the status is enable the port is enable IP address we change to this one allow access is this one speed a description if you want to set the uh, set description so you can type mg empty you can type this is a management port okay and even if you want to set the alias so alias sorry alias is also mg empty okay and that's it the rest of the thing is okay and just end suppose if you want to uh, set any other thing so port one is configure a uh, next config system interface and you can type show command again uh, so now everything is okay now I want to go to edit port 2 so just copy and paste and go to port 2 so in port 2 the IP address will be this one which we decide okay so what I need to do let me clear the screen and set IP paste and this is 24 subnet mask okay this one and other thing uh, what I can do if I type git command so it will show me all the thing uh, the name of the port is this one status is enable IP address we set this one yeah set allow access 
so set allow access i want to allow only ping on this interface okay and if you want to set the alias and description so i can type lan this is our lan interface and also a uh, set alias so you can type lan that's it okay and end so we are done with these two interfaces so our two interfaces are done and configure so i change the host name i change the interface and i change the second interface now the route route is important because first time this 40 manager will reach to 40 cloud and they will register <clears throat> so we need access so last time we configure hq there is policy as well and it's reachable to the internet so what we will do we will configure a route uh, through this path even you can reach them through management as well but it will go like this to go outside to reach to the internet okay so let me configure the route config uh, system route sorry route and here what i need to do let me edit you can type show command so there is no route okay and let me put the first entry and if you type show so there is nothing and you can type get so the get it will set we need to device uh, destination and gateway so type uh, device is port 2 okay because it will go through this port 2 to reach to the internet okay enter and second set uh, destination okay either let me put gateway only so the gateway is this ip as i told you 254 so let me type this ip and i will change the last one to 254 okay and let me type 254 and that's it uh, destination if you type as 00 already so no need okay and end so if i say show system route so i set the route as this one okay and it's okay so the route is configured so we configure the default route i say the port 2 go through port 2 and this is the ip address and now i can check if uh, check if you want so we can ping our gateway so you can type execute ping and the ip address so yes i am reachable and i hope so i will reach to the internet as well sorry execute ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. yes so i am reachable to uh, internet as well uh, by the way i'm going through uh, going to internet through this way and it's going to outside that's it so this was the basic configuration so now i need to access this uh, device first time so what is the management ip let me copy management ip and type in your browser okay and because this is https so proceed and what i need uh, i set the username as admin and i set the password one two three so you see first time it will ask you a free trial you can uh, get one 40 manager as a free trial but you need a 40 cloud account okay so i already have so what i need to do you have many choice activate license if you have a license we don't have if you buy this one second you can log in with a 40 cloud i have so i need to put my username and password to this one and also i can upload the license and if you don't have an account so you can register with 40 cloud okay so i have the account but i can't remember so what i need to do let me go to support fortinet i need to copy my username and password as you know i can't remember these detail all the time so this is 40 cloud account so let me copy this one and let me this is only first time okay and then the password uh, what I need to do I need to copy the password okay let me pause the video let me uh, copy the my password and then I will paste them there just for a moment okay so I paste my password and let me log in with 40 cloud so it will show you like this so you need to accept the license agreement accept okay and it will uh, you have logged in successfully to 40 cloud the system is restarting to apply the uh, trial license please wait for a few moments so what they will do they will restart you can see it's going to restart and after that you can log in with local user and password 
so you need to create a username and password if you don't have uh, you can register here uh, with the uh, support dot 48 okay and then you will get one license of the device okay so you can you can start to put your uh, account and register and login so you will get one free license i believe for uh, 60 days or something okay of uh, especially for 40 manager not 40 uh, 40 gate okay 40 gate is only 14 days license you need to request for 60 days but it's not like this one but 40 manager and 40 analyzer you can get one of these if you have an account either you need to create an account so it's going to restart and after restart so let me show you so what i done i put my uh, username and password and then login with 40 cloud and after that i accept the license agreement and accept okay and after that it will show you like this and then when it's restart then you can uh, type your username and password which we said so the default uh, username is admin and password we set I believe one two three so I can log in with that and then it will ask you to set a few things like a password time zone host name which we already done so I don't need to configure then click next it will ask you to set the time zone okay and then the host name and finish and then we can log in to 40 manager so this is the first time way to log in so I believe it's almost done so what I need to do just refresh this browser okay so it will show you again so it's not reachable it's okay because it's not yet uh, started it's going to start it's showing you the version and build number of this 40 manager and this is the serial number of this device okay so this is 7.2.0 okay and 1124 okay so it will after a while it will show you to log in and then I can refresh this browser uh, to uh, log in graphically either you can log in uh, through CLI as well here so let's see we just need to wait uh, maximum for one more minute and then we can log in with the uh, username and password which we set which is admin and 123 so yes yeah, come up now and now you can refresh this one okay so yeah and click advance proceed showing you the certificate error it's okay and what you need to do click proceed unsafe it's all right okay and after that i can log in with the uh, default local username and password which is admin yeah it's now showing you local admin and one two three so now i log in and it will show you this one so we have device manager policy and object this is the main page and let's see yeah it welcome so register so we already done this one time zone so begin uh, keep the same if you want to change also you can say later next this is the host name is okay we are happy with this one and finish and now you can see we are successfully logged in you can click device manager or policy and object or whatever where you want to go we will discuss this later on but this was the uh, first time configuration okay uh, of the 40 manager to access and configure this device